or so to speak. Oh, <laughs> panic. Love this guy. <laughs> Wiley the panic man. That's what I'm calling him now. I don't remember how he sounded though. He seems like a guy who would have a very deep voice. Oh, now I remember. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. Is that a challenge, sir? No. Not yet, anyways. Oh, God. Wait until I give myself a... a, a 20 pack of soda. <laughs> I'd be bumping to next week. Anyways. When Taya, Tristan, and Joey awoke, they thought that Yugi's duel against Bakura was only a dream. Which it wasn't. I just dreamt that Bakura was totally mental. Same here. Last time I snoozed with dueling gods under my pillow. Slept well, guys? Ah! Bakura! Don't hurt me! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the team heard a scream come from the woods. That sounded like mine! Team ran through the forest into a clearing and saw a very large duelist defeating mine. Bye bye, bye, bye buddy. Bye bye, birdies. My harpies, they're gone. I think you mean eliminated, just like you. Now hand over all your star chips, you loser. Mine, are you okay? This sideshow freak giving you a hard time? That's right, just like Pegasus Pink. Root out all the duel and filth on this island and dispose of it. Doesn't that make you like, doesn't that make you a garbage man? This is no joke. Panic is, Panic's one of the island's eliminators. And if you don't get out of here, he's going to do to you what he did to me. Check out our duelist glove. Not a star chip. You're out of the tournament, boy? I am. It all happened so fast. The way Panic duels, I just lost it. Ha! <laughs> she was one of my easiest victims yet. Panic pushed my to the ground, which is a dick. You creep! <laughs> That's there's no excuse for pushing a girl. I dealt with a lot of bullies in my life, and I'm afraid there's only one way to deal with them. You have to stand up to them. <laughs> let's tr let's see you try your intimidation. Tactics against me, Panic! I don't scare easily, especially when I'm standing up for my friends. Yugi, huh? Must be my lucky day. Pegasus has promised a generous bounty to the Eliminator who defeats you. Think he'd throw in some extra cash for inflicts bodily harm? <laughs> I'll wager all the starships I have to win mine. It's a deal. If you win, I'll give you all eight of his star chips because you, because your bet makes no difference to me. What do you mean? What I mean, little Yugi, is when you duel against Panic, you're putting much more than just your measly star chips on the line. I can see the fear growing in your eyes. I do believe you were getting to Panic. Are you finished blowing smoke, Panic? That's in my head. Last time someone had the nerve to talk to me like that, I broke them in half. Now let's do. <laughs> well, Perry, time for you to suck my dick. I mean, what? This is a PG-13. That's why I. That's why I stopped myself, Dingus. Not I always go to the sisters. You first, Lord Pain. And this guy's signature tag was covering the field in darkness and then having his monsters hide behind it. Oh, what does he have in his fusion deck? Probably three copies of Guy the Dragon Champion. Oh, Mizuki. Oh, boy, Mizuki. I don't remember what Mizuki does off the top of my head. Can we check our fusion deck, please? Thank you. Yeah, three copies of Guy the Dragon Champion. Oh, well, we already got. We've already got Curse of Dragon. Now all we need is Guy the Fierce Knight. Close. Bottom. Wait, can you scroll over Mizuki really quick? You can banish one card from the graveyard then. Oh, it's basically a way to recycle his monsters. Hmm. 
1,700 attack points. Uh, you got nothing that can stand up to that. At least not yet, anyways. Hmm. You need to keep Kree in your hand if you want him to be effective. Okay. Hmm. He can be real effective if you can get him out. Because you can basically use your other monsters, other than Catapult Turtle, as literal cannon fodder to <laughs> drain away his life points. But I need as something that will survive. I don't think anything you have can survive. At least not yet. All that does is just increase the defense of his monsters by 300 points. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to end it there. Bone Crusher, oh boy. And there goes 1600 life points. Oh, no there doesn't. If you want to use Karibo, then you can go ahead and use Karibo. I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna take damage this early. Celtic hmm. Guardian. Hmm. Anyways, let me see the effect of Bone Crusher real quick. When this monster is special summoned from your graveyard by the effect of a zombie type monster, you can target one spell or trap card, your opponent controls this and destroy it. During the end fight wait, there was a there was an extra bit. During the end phase of this turn that this card was special summoned, destroy it. Oh. So it's basically on the field for an extra turn when it's sent to the graveyard. Unless Mizuki's around. Then it can be summoned indefinitely. I need to rely on some panel pop before I can. Just trust in the heart of the card, that's all I can say. Another bone crusher, really? Well, there goes 3,200 life points. Hmm. At least you're still above half. Oh. There! You can get him to survive! That's... Finally, that's... something that can survive! Cannon pop. That's all I need. Well, he's not cannon fodder. He's a... He, he's, as he says, a giant soldier of stone. Yep. Yeah, uh-oh. What's this? Uh, yeah, that basically increases all the monsters. Wait, go off it and then scroll back onto it. Yeah, it increases the attack and defense of all fiend and spellcasters by 200 points, and decreases the attack of all fairies. But how does that work? Oh, Yami is is Japanese for darkness, I believe. Hmm. So that's what he uses to darken the field in the in the in the show I believe hmm. well, now that I got... if you want you can sacrifice giant soldiers not for that for curse of dragon because curse of dragons is the one with the offense power and that's kind of what you need right now like I said, I'm just saying this because I'm just trying to be helpful, but th remember, this is your duel and your duel alone, Yami. I mean, Danny, uh, 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 Gara. Bleh. Wow. So many things. So many people. Ah. Yeah, I was about to say, Mizuki's your biggest target because he can bring back Bone Crushers and destroy your back row. All right, panic. Let's see what you can do. And then he switches all of his monsters to defense mode. Wise move. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I better set. But remember, if he gets another Mizuki out and brings back one of those bone crushers, you could have summoned him in attack mode. And if I did, then I, then he would see my hand. I don't want him to know that what that card is. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna have to want to hold escape on this one because it's gonna be. That's why I said you should have switched into attack mode. 
Don't forget, you can attack. What? Oh my, what monster is that again? Oh, Metal Guardian, ugh. They don't call, call him an exomaniac for nothing. But if he attacks, what I'm doing. What, using spellbinding circle on the monster that attacks? Yeah, the one that attacks this monster. My strongest monster will be the one who gets the binding salt. There is no monster that he has that's strong enough to take care of your curse of dragon just yet. Well, you know what? Oh, right! Feral Imp's a fiend! He's affected by Yami, so he gets an extra 500 to 200 attack points and defense points. Forgot about that. Ooh, it's, it's and that can actually it's... help out Summon Skull, too. Hmm. And your Dark Magician, I believe. Wait, can I see Yami? Can I see Yami again? Yeah, it helps out Dark Magician as well. Nice. Well, we got a Yepo. Wait, I was gonna say, you're forgetting? You can use a uh, Skull, uh, Summon Skull to get rid of uh, Metal Guardian. Bye bye, metal fart knocker. As well as dark assailant. Hmm. As long as I got two powerful four cards on on him. Well, somewhat powerful. He could somehow still pull something out of his ass. Uh oh. Oh, it has to be banished from his graveyard. That's right, duh. Another Curse of Dragon, which would be totally useless. Okay, let's see. And you can use Summon Skull to attack his attack bow monster to get him to get him to get some to take him to make him take some damage. Uh, no, not that one. The other one. Not, uh, the one that's in attack mode. That guy. I'll attack him in a second. And in, and in a second, you uh, evidently mean in like another couple of turns. Yeah. Because if I keep those two on the field, then it's a possibility that, that things may, may help me in a way. Ooh. Oh, Horn Imp! Something that would be helpful if used in conjunction with, oh, I don't know, Yami? And he don't have? At least not that we know of. Yeah, since his only Mizuki's in the is banished from the game, I think it'd be wise to attack him now. If you want my person, no, never mind. Well, there with that at the at the shit at the shitter. Hmm. Why am I not surprised? 
Why am I not surprised? Dark mm -hmm. Chimera? Oh boy. Uh, this is gonna work. You need to pull something out of your ass. And like, now. Well, that's game. He's probably gonna choose to go first. It's like I know the computer. That's why I always anticipate going sick. Oh, this time you got Guy of the Fierce Knight with no Curse of Dragon. Curse of Dragon, please? Nope, another polymerization, but at least you can draw two more cards and hopefully get a monster you can A, either summon or B, get Curse of Dragon. Or that. And you can actually equip him with Horn of the Unicorn to give him an extra 700 attack and defense. Let's see. As soon as you summon him. So that way he could be a real heavy hitter. It's early in the game! Yeah. Of course. That is his was his main card in the in the show. Castle of Dark Destruction. Or Dark Illusion. <laughs> Wait, I didn't read all of his abilities. Flip increase all mon all attack and defense of all zombie monsters by two hundred points as long as the card remains up on the field. The attack and defense of zombie type monsters are Continues to increase by 200 points during each of your standby phases. This effect continues till your fourth turn after the card is activated. So, so up to 800 points. Yeah, you can't summon uh, Gaia yet because he requires two sacrifices. Right, him. Hmm. Not much yet. Oh, if he... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. At least Horn of the Unicorn goes back to your... Back to your deck. And now I've got a really neat plan for you to... You can use Monster Reborn to bring back Torike. Or Torike. Actually, whatever. I was sort of anticipating this to an extent. Ooh. Yeah, remember it can bring back any monster from any of his, from any from either of your graveyards. So you can bring back Drip. Uh, yeah. Hmm. What would be really nice is if I could summon this this thing for more attacking than defense. Well, you can in a way. You can bring him back. Then use him to sacrifice. Use him and Wing Dra Wing Dragon to sacrifice for Gar for Gaia, and then give him you and then give Gaia Horn of the Unicorn to give him an even three thousand attack points. Hmm. Okay, no, I'll, I'll do that. I mean, that's at least what I would do. Da, 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 da. And we're not done yet. Oh. Ba, ba, da, da. I like how you can equip the you? your own cards to the opponent's monster. Give yourself more of a ch Damn, I was hoping it would do an animation of Guy of the Fierce Knight doing Spiral Strike. Actually, I think that would kill my computer. No, it'd just be, it'd just be Gaia, like, stabbing. 
not actually him doing a full spiral strike animation. Hmm. Ooh, if I said him. Hmm. That'll give you some nice defensive power as well as well as Gaia giving you some nice offensive power. Offense and defense. What can they get? Uh oh. you need to you, Yeah, there we go. You can tell it's been a while since we played. Or since he's played it. I played it just recently, finishing up a few little touches on a thing we will be getting to at the end of the campaign. Or at the end of this campaign. I'm not even. Now, Gaia! Attack! Spiral Strike! I think he's the one that needs to stop panicking. But he looks like Gump a- Cigar Player Gump Cigar Player's channel where we make bad pu- Oh, hi, that's me. <laughs> Go out there, my whoopie friend. And defend me. Be my meat shield. <laughs> You're gonna be having You're having way too much fun with that. And I actually have the card in real life. What, Silver What silver Fang? Yes. I have like one or two of them, I believe. Why am I not surprised at A that and B that he uses Yami on his last turn? <laughs> Don't worry, you can use me as a sacrifice to bring forth your best creature. Hey, you're being, you're being, you're being sacrificed for- Yugi's ace in the hole as it comes well it's his most well it's the card that's most attributed to yugi is the dark magician yeah i'm gonna cut that bit out because i do not want to sound bad and we're back yeah no he said something a little insensitive or at least something that he thinks is insensitive case sensitive okay. goodbye context Sensitive. Anyways. Nobody beats panic! Nobody! Uh, System Sand, man. Uh, now I'll be taking all your stalls. Thank you. Uh, no, you're just taking my eight star tips back. Yugi, you're incredible! Your Millennium Power puzzle is more power than we thought. Yugi, <laughs> I don't know what to thank, say. Thank you, Dog Magician. Yoink. Get. Anyways. Yogi, I don't know what. Here. These star chips are yours. Take them. One, two, three, four, That's five, ten. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. I'm sorry, but I can't accept them. I fight my own battles. Why? Yogi risks his life in this duel for you! I know, but. There's no point in arguing. She's way too thick headed. But if she'd rather be booted off the island, I'll take him. <laughs> you think me losing all my star chips is funny, Joey Wheeler? I thought you didn't want him, Mike. Give him back! Here you go. Of course you can have him. He's yours. Really, Joey? Didn't you learn anything from this duel? Can't always keep your defenses up because they'll just get between you and other people who are trying to be your friends. Yep. So you can't let... So can't you just lay your shield down just this one time? Hi. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> Why can't we be friends? No! <laughs> really? You're going back to that video? Why not? Yeah, touche. Oh, hey, you got a new booster pack. Yippee, skippy, doopy dee doo. Skippity doo da, skippity. So, anyways, got. Got. Put some of these. Oh, this duel! Oh my god! There is an interesting backstory as soon as you win this one. Which yeah. may be in the next video, maybe in this one, I don't know. Well, it all depends. This is only part two of the session, so I we may be right back. I guess we'll see you in the next video.